when you see questions like this, well, you have to think what topic it is. Um, I will tell you this is Pythagoras. Some of you might think it's trigonometry, uh, Sakatoa. But clearly, there are no angles involved in any of these questions. Um, that's a big clue as to what topic you want to use. Um, so obviously it's not going to be Sokotoa, trigonometry. I might even put, you know, they might even put an angle in there. You might say, sir, there's a, you know, there's an angle here. But think about what are you after? If I told you now, I wanted to work out this side here. The third side. Well, two sides are given and you want to work at the third side. Well, that's Pythagoras. For Pythagoras to work, it has to be a right angle triangle. It has to be a right angle triangle. And then two sides have to be given. Usually two sides will be given. So here is Pythagoras, a classic Pythagoras question. Now, to find this side here, you need to realize that this is the longest side. Out of all three sides, this is the longest side. And the longest side, it may look to you long, the longest side. You can even try with a ruler, measure with a ruler, compare all three sides to see which one's the longest. Or you could just say the longest side is always opposite the right angle. That's the longest side. So to work at the longest side, this is what you do. It will be a plus in your calculation. There will be a plus. So this is what you type in the calculator. You press the square button. I always, try, I always go for the big number first. In this case, it wouldn't matter because there's a plus there, but I always go for the big number first. Six squared plus five squared. So when you're trying to find the longest side, there's a plus in there. So all you need to do is put that in the calculator. Press the SD button, 7.81. So this longer side is 7.81. Clearly, this, this number here is bigger than these two. Right. This is a slightly different situation where the longest side is given to you and one of the shorter sides are missing. Well, it's this short side is missing. So it will be a takeaway in your calculation. Uh, big number first, 10 squared minus 6 squared. Press the square button first, 10 squared minus 6 squared. That's oh, exactly 8. Well, you could, could have done this in my head. That's 100. Think about it. That's 100. 10 squared is 100. 6 squared is 36. 100 take away 36 is 64. Square root of 64 is 8. So the missing side there is equal to 8. Right, these are the easy type of questions. Gets a little bit trickier now. Um, yeah, if you look at this question here, trying to find the missing side, here's a triangle, right angle triangle. So it's going to be Pythagoras, but then wait, wait, just a while ago I said, in order for you to be able to use Pythagoras, for, in order for you to be able to recognize that it is a Pythagoras question, two sides have to be given. But then you're going to say, well, there's only one side in this triangle. So how do we find, well, we need two sides, don't we? I can easily work at this side here. Because it's to do with this other triangle, which you can see here. There you go, two sides are given. I can work at this side. And once I worked at this side, I can use it in the other triangle. So here's a right angle triangle. The longest side is given to you. How do I know it's the longest side? Because it's opposite the right angle. So I'm trying. what I'm trying to find is the shorter side. So it will be a minus 10 squared minus 7 squared. Do that in the calculator. Seven point one four one. Seven point one four one. Seven point one four one. So here. 
7.141. I don't want to round it too early. I mean, I can, if I was being lazy, I could say 7.141. Uh, I can't be bothered with that. I just call it 10. But then if I use 10 here for the next calculation, it's, the, the answer is going to get worse and worse. So I'm just going to preserve the number of digits after decimal point just for accuracy. And then do whatever rounding that's necessary at the very end. And usually the questions will tell you round to one decimal place, whatever. Do that at the very end. But don't start rounding numbers as you're going along, as you're going along each step of the calculation. Anyways, here's my triangle now. Oh, look, two sides are given now. I had to find the had to find that side anyway. So here's my triangle. Uh, the longest side, this one, this thick side, it, this is the longest side because it's opposite the right angle. Uh, I'm trying to find one of the shorter sides. I'm trying to find one of the shorter sides. So all I've got to do now, square root. It's going to be a take rate because I'm trying to find the shorter side. 7.141 squared minus a 6 squared. Three point three point eight seven. I could call it three point nine if I want to. If I want to round it to one decimal place, three point nine. Three point nine. So the missing side is three point nine. Right. These are the slightly harder type of questions. Find the area. Well, I can imagine what you're going. To, some of you might be doing. You might be saying, "Oh, base times height." Well, I'm sorry, that's not the height. If you're measuring somebody's height, you don't expect them to be standing, you know, standing like this. Oh, you go measure the height that way, you know, measure the height. You, you can't be doing that. that. That's ridiculous. Just leave that. Right. Height. That's the height. So if you want to measure the height, if you want to know the area of this triangle, it's going to be base times the vertical height. Then you need to halve it to work at the area. That's the general rule for general formula for working at the area of a triangle. So my mission is to work at this height. But then some of you might be deciding, thinking about what topic it is. Well, to me, that is definitely, if that's the vertical one and that's a horizontal one, horizontal and vertical naturally makes 90 degrees. So somehow it's looking a little bit like Pythagoras. So if I just focus on this triangle, somehow I'm going to work at this height, but clearly this bit is not eight. All of that is eight. Half of eight is four. Really, this bit is four. How do I know? Well, how do I know it's four? Well, it's an isosceles triangle. Look, seven and seven makes an isosceles triangle. And the line, that's the line of symmetry. And a line of symmetry, a mirror line, naturally cuts this triangle in half. So half of eight is four. So here, got this triangle. That's the longest side because it's opposite the right angle. And that's the shorter side. We're still trying to find one of the other shorter sides. So really, for this one, sorry, for this one here, it's going to be minus seven squared take away four squared. Five point seven, five point seven four. Right, to three decimal places. Then five point seven four five, five point seven four five. So that bit there is the height, the vertical height of that triangle. Five point seven four five. To work at the area now, all you need to do is base. I'm talking about the entire triangle here, not that green one. To work at the area of the entire triangle, the base, the whole base is 8, and the vertical height is 5.745. Then divide by 2, halve it. 8 times 5.745 divided by 2. I'm just going to use my fraction button. Trench 2.98. If I want to do it to two decimal places, 2.98. If 
you want it to one decimal place, some of you are thinking, well, what about one decimal place? If you want to round to one decimal place, you look at the second digit after the decimal point. If it's five or more, yes it is, the nine rounds up to a 10, carry the one. That's, that's one decimal place. That's already two decimal places. Right, here, work at this missing side, the green one. Some of you might say, oh yes, trying to find the shorter side, that's the longer side, I'm trying to work at the shorter side. So you just do, uh, this is wrong by the way, I'm doing this wrong. Square root, 12 squared, 12 squared minus five squared. Well, no, you can't do that. That's not a right angle triangle. Remember the original condition, it has to be a right angle triangle if you can apply Pythagoras. That is not a right angle triangle. It's more than a right angle triangle. So we need to do something else. Well, that is a right angle triangle there, definitely. And um, if you're feeling a bit stuck, think, well, what can I do? Clearly, I can see one big triangle here. One big triangle. I'll just draw it here for you. That's 12 and that's seven. Trying to find the shorter side. So it's clearly going to be 12 squared minus seven squared. Let's see what happens now, where, where that takes us. So all of that is 9.747. Basically all of that, all of this is 9.747, all of it, because we just worked it out here. So then what I need now is, I'm looking at this triangle here now, and fo my focus is going on this triangle, which also happens to be a right angle. Now, I've only got one side, I'm trying to work out this side. This is the side I'm trying to work out, because that's where the question mark is. I wish I knew what this one was. I wish I knew what this one was, because then I can use those two numbers. If I had a number here, then I can use those two to work at the longest side. So my mission now is to work at this, this bit there. Now clearly, that red thing there, that red line there, it's got something to do, something to do with this, this number and that number there. Five, watch, five, adds something to give me 9.747. You have to do a takeaway. 9.747, takeaway five, is what? 4.747? So you put 4.747 there. Now, the green triangle, which I've just shaded, that there, just focus on that bit now. I'm trying to work out this side, there's the question mark. I'm trying to work out the longer side because it's opposite, the, it's, it's the longer side because it's opposite the right angle. So what I need to do now is square root seven squared. It's going to be a plus this time because I'm trying to find the longest side, 4.747 squared. Round that to, let's say, if I want to round that to two decimal places, it's going to 8.46. Yeah, 8.46. So that, I've got my answer now 